All right, everyone, welcome back to Charlotte Motors Speedway for the Charlotte Motors Speedway Rovo 400. As we go racing here, the fourth race on the schedule of the NASCAR series, and we are going racing on a road course. We'll see you out on the track. All right, everyone, welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Charlotte Rovo 400 as we go racing here. Ryan Blaney failed technical inspection. Bobby Carter had an engine change after qualifying. And Man Kenseth has failed pre-race inspection. So we're going racing here at the Rovo. Let's go, everyone. All right, guys, if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It helps out the channel a whole lot. But welcome back to the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel and NASCAR Heat 5 as we go racing here in the fourth race of the season. So uh, this is the shot at Roval. No stage breaks. And uh, limited on the cautions. So we'll have to see how far we go into like uh, overtime if that is a thing that happens here. But uh, we got to work our way up through the field and end up having some issues. I think one of the things is we didn't have a sway bar in the rear end. So we ended up putting that in for this race. And uh, already the car is turning far superior. Also lowered the tire pressure in the front. And uh, switched up the brakes. A lot of different work from qualifying into this car. As we have a caution already. Anybody back there having issues? Nope, looks like we're good. Okay. So let's uh, continue on here. I already made up quite a few spots there, but yeah, I ended up uh, doing a lot of work on this car after qualifying, and the car feels far superior than uh, it was feeling, that's for sure. As we got Ryan Newman up there leading the way, going to get into the 48 there just a bit, and all jump in together here with everybody else. So, in case you uh, missed it, uh, last week we did skip the uh, F1 race on Friday I was doing a bunch of stuff uh, that day for hopefully the uh, Combustion Guys channel so we'll see if that ends up uh, popping up and stuff and uh, also just kinda want to take the week off of Thanksgiving and uh, skip a week but uh, the finale the finale of the F1 series will be this coming Friday so don't miss that it was a very interesting race honestly and I uh, rather enjoyed myself uh, wasn't really good originally when started playing F1 wasn't very good at Circuit of the Americas as I have slowly gotten much better at that track so I really like as we can send Brendan gone around and Kyle Busch and we're gonna have a caution there once again but uh, have really started to like that track quite a bit so that was that was a fun race so make sure you check that out on Friday Hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Now uh, let's uh, dive into what we're doing here as we're racing. So currently up to the 12th position and made up a lot of ground. Florida Racing guys put a lot of work as we totally spin out the 37 there. And instant caution. Try to turn cautions off. I know I had them on relax, but for the Rover it is very persnickety on this and I totally forgot about that. I don't even know what we're doing tie wheel wise, so we're gonna have to check on that here in a bit. Hey, I got the uh, Rowdy Energy car here today. Very nice paint scheme. Gonna kind of back off here as we head to the corner. And now let's go. Looks like everybody's able to get through quite well. So far, no DNFs at the track. So that's gonna make the field interesting. Gonna dive into Kyle Bush here just a little bit. Getting the chase at the edge. Everybody kind of stacking up here. Everybody's stacking up back there. Haven't really been able to get any of these guys to move along and stretch out the field yet. As we're at lap 10 of uh, 27 so far, I have had uh, how many cautions? Quite a few. But yeah, did a lot of setup change on the car and it feels uh, greatly improved from qualifying. Currently Ryan Newman's up there leading this thing, so I mean every time we have a caution that just kind of solidifies his lead, so honestly don't mind that. Looking at fuel, we got six laps of fuel remaining in the tank as we go too wide there. Gonna hit the brakes. Not bad, not bad. Make sure the car turns. There we go. 
747 is going to get past this, that's fine. Everybody's going through there. Slowly going to get this field stretched out a bit. We are going to have some damage we're going to need to fix. Uh, once we do make a pit stop, hit the brakes here. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Ooh, getting swirly up through there. Everybody getting swirly back there. So 105 difficulty here on these guys. And uh, we're doing pretty good up here at 9th. Ouch. Hit the wall there pretty bad. So trying to kind of get into a groove here. Cause still is a bit on the stiff side, but I think with the uh, what we did with the brakes, because we had like 85% of the brake all on the front end, and we really needed to balance that out quite a bit because we just constantly wheel hopped, and so we couldn't get any traction in the front. So we ended up switching that to like 65 to the front. Chase said it's going to go around. That's going to bring out a caution there. Caution. Everybody's going to come down to pit road. We're going to go ahead and come down, get a couple tires, get our damage fixed. I'm actually going to lose one position, but uh, that's mainly because we had to fix damage there. Alrighty, here and here we go. Back racing at the Oval. 14 laps remaining. Gain one spot there, kind of get everybody gathered up there. Gonna get to Logano. Ooh, he almost went around there as we got him to him just a tad bit. Clint Boyer now gonna get out in front there in the 14. Gonna hit Kevin Harvick there just a bit, trying to get out of the mayhem here. Gonna take a three wide. And we're gonna, ooh. Joey Logano sends it in, tries to wreck us. I'm not sure what he was doing back there, but you, you guys be able to watch that hopefully at the the, the replay, hopefully, because that was that was awful there. All right, nope, we're not gonna pit. We're fine. All right up to fourth here. I got the Nemesis, the 11, to our inside for this turn, anyways. Gonna take it nice and easy, don't wanna wreck our uh, Ford Performance teammate there of Ryan Newman. Gonna give him plenty of space, gonna get in line between Kurt. I'll try and take the outside here, see if we can eventually make any moves here. Hamlin loose, not having a good run there. Gonna dive it on the inside and kinda get it. Go out wide. Hamlin and Kurt Busch fighting side by side. That slows them up. Gives me plenty of room. Gonna hit the wall there a little bit more. I'm kind of slipping and sliding around now. Alright, if uh, necessary, we will use the 11 as a break. Because why not? There we go. And caution. Didn't really send him back any, but that's okay. I think I should have turned off cautions. I think this would have been far more uh, interesting. Another reason why I added uh, the uh, race length, because I knew with the cautions it was going to shorten the race just a tad as well. But yeah, I should have totally turned off cautions. I forgot how persnickety things are. We don't want to get into Newman there. Give him plenty of space. Going to take away Hamlin's line. He's all over the place loose there. And see if we can just follow Newman here and stay nice and clean for the next seven laps. I doubt that's going to happen. We also have everybody behind us, and so uh, clean does not seem to uh, be their strong suit back there. So we'll see how they do, though. We got Clint Boyer still leading the way here, which is impressive there for the 14. We got Kurt Bush actually got a bit of a run on us. He's got definitely has some speed. And we're gonna miss our breaking zone. There we go. Not too bad. Able to hop over the jumps, no penalty, and able to keep going. Definitely pretty relaxed there on those uh, cautions, so that definitely makes things nice. Good push has the run. Nice on the brakes. 
Sweet, got there pretty good. If you hit that bump though, uh, the car will totally come out from under you, so trying to avoid hitting that bump there onto the uh, front stretch, you really a smart idea because your rear, the rear end of the car will definitely come around on you, and I don't have time for that. Gonna be almost into the grass, definitely didn't want to go too far into there. Losing touch with Newman here just a little bit. We are a bit slower. Now that things have kind of stretched out and actually calmed down, Kurt Busch actually seems to be having a pretty good run back there. Just trying to make sure that we're not uh, going too crazy and causing a caution ourselves by hitting the wall. Checking out what we got. Uh, lap of fuel wise, we got plenty of fuel. Ahead and stop breaking here. Kurt Bush trying to send it on the outside there. He's gonna hit us and spin himself out right there. I'm not sure how the physics worked on that, but it worked for him pretty good. Alright, we're gonna come down, grab just a tad bit of fuel and four tires. That was the longest run of the race. 17 laps. Uh, 19 positions lost, so we gotta gain all that back. That'll be interesting. A lot of people switched up their strategy there. So now I gotta make my way through to the front. Should be able to do that uh, pretty easily, hopefully. Use some dice in here. Max Bowman's gonna go around. And we're gonna have. And we're already in overtime. Great. Yeah, I should have totally turned off cautions on this. Let's see. Let's send it in underneath here. Try and get past the 48 here real fast. Up the curve. Behind the Gano, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Three wide behind us. Race like there is no restart coming, even though there probably is. Brendan Gano able to get back up here in the front, that's cool. Getting pushed by the 62. I don't know, this, uh, this is pretty intense racing, kind of like it at the moment. Got lots of damage, got the Gano underneath me here. We'll see if we can get these guys back to the line. I do kind of, uh, I'm not expecting that though. Hit the brakes. Might actually hit the line. Almost lost the car there. Get to 10th. And we have 10th. Flint Boyer, get to that line, please. I don't want to get a uh, string of eternal. eternal Green white checkers. And he's across the line. We're going to spin out. Get back on track. Get back on track. Get back on track. That's why you don't hit that bump over there because that thing will send you sliding. Able to save the car. Even going through the grass. Now we're going to get some positions. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know, I think the racing would have been really good, just I forgot about the cautions on road courses, they don't work out very well. And there we go, caution is out. Not sure where we finished, so we'll have to wait and see. Alrighty guys, so here we go with the results. So your winner is Clint Boyer, Ryan Newman there gets second. Danny Hamlin unfortunately gets third. Chase Elliott, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Austin Dillon, Kevin Harvick, Montrix Jr., Jerry Degano, and Kyle Busch. That's your top ten. And uh, all the way down here in 17th due to spinning through the grass. But luckily, still able to get 17th, so not uh, down in the 20s. So that's kind of nice. And your big losers is uh, Timmy Hill and Bobby Carter down there all the way in 39th and 40th, unfortunately. Alrighty guys, so that puts us just below the point, uh, top of the point standings there unfortunately, but uh, we still got plenty more races to work on, and uh, hopefully that means that we can uh, get some points and hopefully 
get a far better finishing position here soon. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys here next time for the fifth race on the season of the NASCAR Cup Series, Florida Racing Series. And we'll see you guys here next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.